No. No one's there. Okay. Hello, no one and dubs. How you all doing? <clears throat> and now I did say yesterday that I was going to play uh, Thief 2 tonight. But I've decided to do my Iron Man run instead. So I will continue with Thief 2 uh, tomorrow instead. Um... Pretty much after this, I'll have nothing really in the way of playing nothing but Thief 2 until I beat the game, so... <laughs> no, this is not really a blind run as such, because uh, I have played TDR, I mean, it was several years ago, but technically I've played it before, and I did catch a bit of A.N. Mutt's attempt, so... It's not really blind. Really? I don't know if it's really prepared, though. But, uh, I guess it has to be a Category 3, because I've played it. So, whatever. <sighs> so, this is my uh, Doom World Iron Man League run for the month. Uh, I'll link it there, and it'll be in the video description as well, for anyone else who wants to take part, or is wondering what this is, or whatever. Um... <clears throat> So, for those who uh, don't know what the Doom World Iron Man League is, uh, it's basically where you play a ward, you get one attempt, you get as far as you can, and once you die, that's it. You're not allowed to save and load, you have to do it all in one go on continuous, and the fastest player or the one who gets with the most maps gets higher score. Cat 3 is like watching a stream after it's announced, but Cat 2 is she just played it before. Okay, well, I guess it's Category 2 then, because although I have played this, it was years ago, so I won't remember everything. I mean, I haven't even researched the uh, how to get to the secret levels and stuff, although I don't think that will be too difficult, perhaps? I don't know. We'll see when we get there, so... I've not really done a lot of preparation in this, other than trying to remember as much as I can. <laughs> Which is not a lot. So, this month, it is a uh, Revolution, or to give it its full title... Hey, Scotty. Or to give it its full title, uh, Thomas Van Der Velden's Revolution, or TVR for short. Because, you know, it's nice to shut it down. Hello, Dave. I hope you're not too disappointed about the fact this is not a Thief 2 stream. But the good news, Dave, is that once this stream is done, uh, there will be nothing but Thief 2 streams on this channel until it is finished. This is pretty much the last distraction for the time being. I'm pretty much free after that to play Thief 2 all day every day. As much as I can get away with this is a fantastic mega ward. Yes, it is, Vile Flesh. Also, hello. Hope you've all had a good weekend. My weekend's been all right. Got a lot done on uh, Saturday, and I woke up this morning, and I can confirm I lost. Uh, hey, Louie. Bible thump already. Um, I have lost two pounds in weight over the last week, so coming off the alcohol and trying to eat a bit less has is, is paid dividends um, into the second week. So, things are looking a little bit brighter, even though the weather is miserable and autumn and it's shit. So, thank you, Dave. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, why does it say Mega 2003 when these credit... Oh, whatever, it must have been updated in 2001, or whatever. So, um, yeah, TVR is an interesting wad. Um, it came out apparently in 2003 um, by Thomas Van Der Velden, and it's uh, it's actually a very it's actually for the most part it's actually a very easy mega wad. It's one of those of what I would call a, a one stream mega wad. Same year as Scythe. An interesting year for Doom One development then for sure. But yeah, TBR is one of those, what I call a, a one-stream megawad. Well, basically, it is 32 maps, but all the maps are quite short, and they're mostly not too difficult. And if you have a three or four hours to spare, maybe five, 
you can beat TVR in a single sitting because it, it's short, it's sweet, it's not too difficult apart from a couple of spots, and it's got the good music and it's it's just generally varied and interesting and it's it's a nice mega ward. Uh, it's a similar category I'd apply to Perdition's Gate. You know, that was a one-stream Mega Water, though Perdition's Gate is slightly more challenging, but it's it's a, it's a kind of feel where the gameplay is very fast and levels can be beaten in, like, five minutes, usually. Can I wait Demon Fear? Yeah, Demon Fear was also another one-stream Mega Water. It's that kind of Mega Water that you make where you have a lot of variety, and the levels are short, so you're never really dragging on a level for, like, 20 minutes unless you're looking for every secret. Right, levels are short, well designed. It's I, I enjoy TVR when I played it several years ago. Um, it was a great, great world to play. And I did. I think I beat it in about four or five hours on my first sitting. Um, it, it was good. So I remember TVR with some fondness as it introduced me to the idea that some mega wads can be short and, as I said, one stream mega wad potential. And then I played a few more like Demon Fear, Perdition's Gate, Doom Junior. Well, Doom Jr. is extremely easy for obvious reasons, etc., etc. And it's uh, it's kind of expected that most people will survive it this time because it's not that difficult, in theory, anyway. That being said, Alfonso hasn't really been on the ball with updating the leaderboards. I kind of missed that. I kind of wish he would get back on track with it. Thank you for the whole six. How are you doing? Have you finally... Well, did you manage to get past the secret levels of Eternal Doom? Because they were some of the more cryptic ones. Such as that house. I imagine you must be well on your way to map 30. Um, so, yeah, it's... I kind of miss the fact that Alfonso doesn't update the uh, leaderboards anymore. I used to look forward to, like, what he would describe it as. He's just really stopped doing that, which is kind of a shame, really. I hope he does get back on track with that eventually. I mean, I know he's a busy man, but I, it's, it's just a text thing. It was nice. You're on map 20. It was a very good day for Doom. Oh, that's pretty good. You got, you got, you got about, I think, to my knowledge, you got two more cryptic maps to come up. Uh, the one that if you've played Epic 2, you'll have the easiest time with the level, and the other one, well, it's just down. But that's map 30. The last map is the real uh, pain in the ass. But anyway, I digress. Uh, <clears throat> so it's since a lot of people are expected to survive TVR, I guess speed will come into play, but I'm not really going to... Well, I'll play fast, but I'm not going to really change my approach. I mean, hopefully it will be a three or four hour stream. I will get through and I hope to survive or at least get to the last 10 maps anyway. But, um, yeah. So, um, that's, that's TVR. It's going to be short maps, fun maps, um, I don't think there's any particular. It's not blind when I play with the. Okay, so it's Academy 2 that I'm going to be doing then, I suppose. Definitely. Wow. Well, that says a lot then. I mean. Maybe you've just gotten really good at handling cryptic puzzle maps, maybe. But uh, I can't really say. So uh, before I uh, start this chomp chomp. Hello Arch, how you doing? Uh, so one more thing I should probably mention before I start this stream. Uh, because it was, I talked about it in Discord earlier. For those who are in my Discord. Uh, I, I did actually um, briefly mention the possibility earlier today that I would possibly make the uh, donation, a new donation goal, um, since there isn't one at the moment, and I don't think there's, I'm not, I'm not, I don't currently have a donation goal in mind at the moment, I might just leave that blank for a bit, I don't know, I mean there is one thing that I'd want to do, but I'm well aware of the fact I need to play the uh, other games and stuff like that, so, um, 
But I raised the possibility earlier of the donation goal in the um, Discord chat as being a, um, a six-month uh, subscription to WoW Classic because I found out that, surprisingly, it, it only costs a, a subscription model. It's not actually a... I thought you'd have to buy the expansion and then get a sub, and I thought, that's just I'm not going to do that. But actually, you only have to pay the subscription um, for the game. So I was kind of tempted into possibly playing it and setting it up as a donation go for the, uh, for six months so that I could play it. But I was persuaded out of it, thanks to Fuzzball, not to do that um, because... Well, the thing is, is that with the donation goals, I mean, I have said that I want them to be uh, for things I want to play. But the thing is, is that if I am receiving uh, financial support from people following the channel, then I would think that it would only be fair that the uh, donation goals would be for things that I want to play and I am then going to stream on the channel. So with Doom Eternal, obviously I would be streaming that as soon as it comes out on November 22nd. I haven't pre-ordered it yet because I have no Steam confirmation. As soon as I get that, it will be pre-ordered. And by the way, just to clear that up real quick, uh, that's not to, I know that I'm aware of the fact that it's currently available to pre-order in Steam. What I'm waiting for is confirmation that that will remain the case. I'm not just going to say, here's £45 of donation money, and then like a month later it goes to Epic Store, and I've just thrown away £45 on nothing. I'm waiting for the official confirmation by id Software that it is going to stay on Steam. Once that happens, pre-ordered, done. And I'll probably tweet it at the time and mention it. But the thing is, is that I was tempted by WoW Classic. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it would be nice to... It would, A part of me would like to sort of replay it a bit. But then I... But what the, the, the argument that Fuzz made was basically that if I'm going to do that, am I really using my time constructively? And are people going to want to watch me grind in World of Warcraft? And the answer is no, probably not. And it's most likely something I would do off-stream anyway. And then it comes down to the question of, if I'm going to sell up a donation go for something I want to play, but I'm not going to stream, then, you know, that, that, that seems a bit... Um, uh, how to express it? That seems a bit odd well yeah i know it's already claiming enough june streamers and especially when i go i mean i've said and i'm on, i said and i'm no i can't really say that because obviously i'd be flying on the donation code. it's more the case of the fact that you know i have said i'm going to focus on the um the request list i'm going to focus on the other game request list and if i was to get a six month subscription to world of warcraft classic would i what would i be doing i mean i would probably be playing it when i'm not streaming but if i get into it i probably would be grinding occasionally well not well it's not really grinding to end game to be honest but it's a thing so it was decided thanks to, again to Fuzzball, that basically I should not be doing that. That I should not set up a donation goal for something that the streamer, you, you guys and girls, aren't going to see. You know, that's basically like me saying, I want a new uh, television. I'll put up a donation goal, and then when I get the new television, thank you very much, you know. And I think it's a fair point to say that if I do set up a donation go, it has to be for something I want, but it also has to be for something that will eventually be streamed on this channel. You know, I can't just go, oh, I want to play WoW Classic. I'm being real tight on money. If I set up a donation go, can I just get people to pay my six months? It's, that sounds a bit like begging in a sense. 
you know, there has to be something that the people, you wonderful people <laughs> who who somehow keep watching this channel, I don't know why, sometimes, um, continue to support. Um, uh, basically, it's got to be something that you, you will see on stream, you know. And if I was to do that with WoW Classic, I would have to stream WoW Classic. Now, I'm willing to bet most of you probably don't want me to do that, so... Yeah. I'm just mentioning it because it was in the Discord, and I just want to state that. I'm not going to be uh, putting that as a donation go, and I'm not going to get it either. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay away from the temptation. As tempting as it might be, you know, I have said I would focus more on other games and Bloom Wards, and that's what I'm going to try and do. You know, it's only fair. So, now that I've mentioned that, and please feel free to remind me of that in the future. So that's another thing, that's another caveat to the donation goals. It's gotta be stuff I want to play, and it also has to be stuff that is going to be streamed. So whatever it is in the future, it has to be something that the streaming audience will get back in the form of a play for it. So, I don't know. It, obviously, it's got to be any kind of game I'm going to play on stream. Basically, that's it. And I also want to thank Fuzzball for talking me out of falling into the WoW Classic. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Well, that's fine. That, that's fine, Dave, because that benefits the stream, doesn't it? Again, that's the thing. If it's hard work so I can run a game or whatever, then yeah. Because the people will then see the improved performance and my ability to play the game, and that's fine. That's going to benefit people watching, you know. It's different if I'm playing something that's not going to be on stream that I just want to play off the stream. Because then you're basically asking, the, you're basically giving your money to the streamer to play something that you're not going to see. Unless you, like, it's part of a communal thing where I would, like, set up a guild or something and we do raids and shit, but I don't really want to do that. I've got a lot to do already. And I'm, <laughs> I'm happy to join. A, I'll be at, but point is, just no. I'm going to stay away. It's, I mean, it is cheap. It's like 52 quid, but, you know, it's time I could be doing more constructive things like playing Doom Wards and other games. It's not like I have a shortage of things to do, so I need to be temp not be tempted away from doing them. All right, I've, I've spent long enough on this. I'm going to start playing now. So we have to do this in the Doom Strict compatibility. I just felt I should mention that, you know, because it is in the Discord chat, and I do don't want people to think I'm suddenly going to play Wild Classic tomorrow, you know. I mean, if if I, if I choose to, pay, I mean, in, in that kind of case, if I choose to do it, I will have to, I will pay for it out of my own money straight off the bat. But I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. Now we've covered that. So we gotta be on Doom 2 strict compatibility, a Doom strict compatibility for this. And here we go. So I'm checking the options in order. And there you can see the credits, Thomas van der Velden. So Doom strict is the compatibility, which means infinite height will come into play. I don't think that'll be a bunch of a problem though with this one. I don't think. Right, so, here we go. This is a Category 2 run. The compatibility settings is correct. I hope to get quite far in this. And let's play. So we start off in a ship. Do you know there's custom music for this? Is it? Oh, I've, I've, I've already started. 
I need to beat Mop this month. Yeah, that would require me going fast. Oh god. Look at all these guys. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, sorry, Arch. Oh well, I'm sure we'll be fine. Scrolling our train. I don't really like these barrels being around, if I'm being honest. Ow! Seriously? You got a bite off it or what? Man. Ugh. Oh yeah, you have to go around on the train. I think it's fair to say if we fall off, we die, so be careful. Yeah, okay. I think there's a secret you could do when you go back, but we're just gonna leave it at that. Okay, so as I said, this is what a lot of levels in TVO are like. They're very short and not too difficult, really. Mostly. So it's actually a really fun one to play in general. By the way, that's what Rain used to look like in Doom Wards in 2003. Oh no, he won himself. To think this level is called depression. Huh. Oh yeah, there's extra blood splats. I forgot that was a thing in TVO as well. Custom textures, custom... Custom stuff. Look at this rain. Oh god, I have to be careful there. And that's how vents worked. <laughs> you just sort of chainsaw through them. It's all very weird. As you do. chances of these barrels whatsoever. Screw these barrels. Screw them up! <laughs> the good old days. Starring now! This is a cinema. See you now. Yeah, the fake zombie men are kind of interesting. Is 
It's like lots of little things in this ward, you know. It's. Now, what key is the cinema audience? And this was several years before the Doom movie came out. It's very easy most of the time. I think if I remember correctly, there's about. There's a few tricky spots, but that's it. A lot of TBR is very easy stuff. It's not really that difficult at all. Hey, Grand Pro Skater. What is my opinion about Doom Speed channels on Twitch? Oh, I like it. It's very, very handy. Hey, Malky Anarchy. Hmm. I see an exit in there. We're just going to ignore those guys. Yeah, I really like it. I mean, it's got a lot of followers on it. I think it's nearly up to a thousand now. But yeah, it's something that people have wanted for a while. They've wanted something to sort of have a cycle of the best Doom Speed demo, so... I think it's really great. It's always, it's like a little hub for people to watch stuff. You know, come watch all the top plays. Because like when you watch a Doom streamer, for instance, they might pull off what an average of one really cool move every few hours. Or you could watch all the highlights all the time. From all the good players. Two armor bonuses, you see. Now I'll play it safe actually, I'm not gonna chainsaw them. Might as well play it risky because yeah. But yeah, I like it. It's good stuff. Oh yeah, I should probably deal with that guy. Really? Dude. Please.
seem to have temporarily lost where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, there's only one thing that is, um... Only, there's only one thing that might really hinder people doing runs of this. TBR does suffer from a bit of where the fuck am I going syndrome. Some of the time. There are occasions where you will need, where you will just miss something. But. That's about it really. I accidentally discovered that secret. Look at that. Caught a truck. How do you do? Oh, Jesus. How did... Where am I going? See what I mean? Hey, Interess. How you doing? Thanks for the host. And thank you for the follow, Grand Postcaster. Um, what the fuck? Where is the? Ah, oh, jeez, I want the wrong fucking way. Just for that. God damn it! Oh yeah. Oh great. I... Uh, I'm genuinely a bit lost here. Hot damn. This is also the wrong way. Wow, are you serious, bro? At least we finally made. Oh wait, that didn't help at all. God damn it! <laughs> Health bus. Yeah, okay. I'm already fucking lost here a little bit. I seem to be able to find every. I think I can find secrets, but I cannot find progress. Shit. What the fuck have I missed? Oh, God. This is the thing I forgot about TVR. It's fucking ability to just randomly make you go, where the fuck am I going, Itis? Like, it's completely randomly. It just... I seriously don't know where I'm supposed to be going at this point. I got the yellow key. Yeah, okay, this level is a real humding, right? I remember, I remember it now. This was definitely one of the first levels where I noticed the fucking, oh shit, where am I going, Idus? Fuck me. Can someone please tell me where I'm supposed to be going here, by the way? I'm... I'm genuinely fucking confused as to... I mean, there's a yellow door, but... I I, I don't know what I'm, what I'm supposed to do here. I do not know what the hell I'm supposed to do here. At all. I... I can't gain... The fuck? I have a yellow key, but I can't use it. What? what, what? Oh. At least this is not Hexen. Yeah, okay, that's the one weakness of TVR. It will completely randomly just fucking do levels like this, so it's like, 
there's one weird thing you have to do, and then everything else is fine. This I am now remembering about the um, TBR. It had a few moments like this where I would be, and this level is one of them. I really, I'm not kidding. I actually have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I got a yellow key. I can't go to the yellow door. I am fucking stunk as to what I'm expected to be doing here. I bet the pain sector isn't the answer. Something lowers. Oh no, that's just to get the invisibility. I don't know why you'd want that. Right, there's a fucking room there. There's things. There's. Uh, I don't understand any of this shit at all. I guess it's this way. Oh yes, of course, go the other way in the pain sector. That's the fucking solution. So go into the pain sector to go through to a thing, and then go up on this. Fuck's sake. And that's it, now the rest of the level's gonna be flawless. And that's literally the only thing I would advise people if you've not done your run yet to be on the mind for. TBR will occasionally throw a what do you do moment, right? You'll just breeze for the levels, literally breeze through them. You have no real problems, and then all of a sudden, BAM! A slight weird off-the-cuff progression, and then that's it. I mean, I sort of didn't really notice there was another way there, but it's be I guess it's just because of the nature of it being like, um... Please go down. God, that took way too long. You see what I mean? That level would have been over five minutes earlier if I had just been able to go one way. The only thing I wasn't a fan of back then. So yeah, that level. And now things will be fine for a while, and then there'll be another level like it later or something. Anyway, we got the backpack, so that helps. Mental and Zany on. That's how you open up the vents.
Yeah, these little blue and red dancing things are the armor bonus and health bonus uh, replacements, by the way. Just in case you're wondering what those weird custom things Yeah, it certainly looks nice, and it plays nice, and it mostly is nice. This is one of those you could beat in a single sitting, usually. Uh oh, that didn't go too well. about those stupid barrels, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure, actually. I don't think there's any custom enemies in this game level one, but I could be wrong on that. Alright, we got the red key, thankfully. Plenty of health around. Said, oh, what the fuck is this? I go for a vent suddenly. What the hell? Just... Oh, I don't have to go for that. I just gotta go for those weird staircase. Fair enough. Hey, what's a zero? What else do I need him? Oh no. <laughs> More custom tomfoolery. Yeah, um. Also, part of the reason that I wanted to sort of do this instead of the uh, Thief 2 tonight is because I'm gonna be, um. Um, I'm going to be attempting for the fourth time to watch an NFL football match tonight to see if I can actually watch a good competitive game or not. I mean, trying, I tried to get into the NFL in the last couple of years. Lost. <laughs> There's the daisy post. Monster sale. I think Alfonso, yeah, speed is really the thing. I mean, if you want to get a good score, then just... Yeah, he's supposed to shoot those zooms. I'll be as fast as I can. But I'm going to be trying to watch an NFL game later tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think the idea here is to get that set up, I guess. <laughs> Fucking pinkies! Get my way more, why don't you, you fucks? No, mastermind, please. I lost. Jeez. Hi, Cherry Paws. How you doing? 
Uh, I could have got a lot better, but whatever. Oh yeah, there's a door, I guess. Well, my main problem with uh, all the, the three previous games I watched when they were done in London is that the three games I watched were all blowouts. Like, one side just completely dominated. It was far too... Um... It was basically like, oh, they've, they've scored like 30 points by the third quarter and they win. Yay. So I was like, okay, this game's over. Cool. But I'm going to hopefully get a bit more luck tonight. And the game I've chosen to watch is... Um, I'm going to be watching the... Um, I don't know if anyone's in 2 NFL. Hey, Johnny Scroder. No, I'm using keyboard and mouse. Ah, I thought I might be seeing that here. Drains the pool. Gives you the key that you need to beat the level, which means you can go past the double masterminds on the beach. Although I still can't get that fucking platform to go up because that's over here. Of course. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Oh, you really think I was going to get anyone? I guess there's one more annoying room to deal with. Cowboys versus Redskins. Oh, well, the, the match I'm going to be watching tonight... I mean, I was actually going to watch in the first week the Steelers versus the Patriots, but the, the Patriots destroyed them. So it was an easy game. I was trying to avoid. That game is on right now. Yeah, it might be, but... Yeah, I know everyone hates the Patriots. They're like the, they're like the um, the old Man United of the NFL. They win all the time, and therefore everyone hates them. What the hell is this? Oh dear God, I do not remember ever having this bullshit at all. Oh sweet Jesus. I did not remember this level. Oh. Well. I mean, you get plenty of health, you know. Yeah, I played this. Yeah, I played this. Years ago. Not recently. I mean, thankfully, a lot of the more harder things, they're usually very brief, and TPR gives you plenty of health and shit, so you're never really short, short on stuff. So, you don't... It's not really hard, shall we say. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I beat it in one stream, and it was, it was fun. Just the occasional hard, really unpleasant thing where it got really nasty. And I like how this level is sort of being with these red rockets that I really don't like. Please, please die. Thanks. Please die. Whoa, 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 whoa. How many fucking things am I dodging here? Ow. Oh, Jesus. Christ. Die. Oh, 
fucking hell. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't get a break with these damn revs. Yeah, you know, see, plenty of health. Mercifully. Fuck off. Wow! Fucking wow! I didn't. I get a pain sector bump before I even actually hit the fucking area. That is some fucking asshole. Bad luck there. Die, 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 die. Thank you. Die, die, die. Thank you. Right. Can I bump that? No. No, I can't. Hey, Pink Pop, how are you doing? Oh, all that has just gone, gone like the, really the wrong way. Yeah, red key card there. Some other stuff. And you got a little shortcut back. Oh, great. I lost my reds. Oh, no, I have to go back this way. Fucking hell. <laughs> Thankfully, you don't have to stay in for it for too long. Yeah, okay. Maybe this is not as easy as I thought. I could have sworn this was easier. I mean, it kind of is, but... Uh, as I said, there are some nasty sh things along the way. Now, nah, but the game I'm going to try and watch tonight is between the Los Angeles Rams and the New Orleans Saints. Because the Saints uh, apparently won the... I, I saw it, they beat... They barely won their last game and they were one of the dark horses for last season or something like that. And the Rams were in the uh, Super Bowl for last season. So, I figure that game at least will be close, right? So, I'm hoping that that game will be a nice close contest. And I can watch that, and it'll be a decent game. That is the hope, anyway. So, I don't really know much about if that will be a good game or not. I hope it will be. Explode now. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take it to the bank. But hopefully it will be nice and it will be nice and decent and stuff. Cowboys and Redskins is a game that's usually close. Huh? I mean, if I don't get lucky tonight, then I'll just wait until the playoffs come into play or something. Because I'm sure when it comes to the playoffs, it will be... Uh... It will be good. Uh, trying to remember... Where do we go now? I don't actually know if that'll be of any use or not. It's not that fucking way, is it? Oh, what the... Oh, hold on, it's up here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, the one thing I found that's a bit meh is that it's it's all the turnovers. Like right? as soon as the as soon as the offense become defense, they take about it, what feels like forever to fucking. The text doesn't change, by the way, so I'm not skipping over anything important in the thingy file. Uh, 
Well, it takes like a good, feels like about a minute because they have to switch between the offense and the defensive teams. And that's why the games last so long, especially with a lot of turnovers, because then all of a sudden you have a million stoppages in play. All dead here. the idea of it. I mean, I, I like the idea that hopefully when there's a... A close game, you know, really tight, people making clutch plays and stuff like that. Was there a key in that room? Oh, there may have been, I don't remember. Very possible there was. Yeah. Wow, go me with my ability to. That kind of made up for it, I think. The only other thing that I really kind of don't like about a lot of these American sports that I've seen. Is all the obsession with stats. I mean, when I watch, like, football, not American football, but regular good old British proper football, like, there are stats and stuff, but it's usually a minor thing or whatever. But, like, in American sports, it's like, oh, dear God, they can't go more than five minutes without talking about stats of every player and loads of stuff I don't really understand. It's crazy, really, how many stats are in these games. Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's, I mean, it's kind of good it breaks up the action, I suppose, when they're turning over, when they're talking about how many um, throws or the, how many yards they've run or whatever the hell we're talking about, but... It goes really, really ridiculous at times as well. I, I was kind of glad to make a jump. I don't know why. We see that a lot with our sport of football as well. You'll see people obsessing over possession stats and shit like that, you know, going, oh man, he's on. His possession rate is. X, Y, and so forth. It's like... The only stat that matters is that the other team lost. 2-0. Forced health kits. Do not like. I won't complain too much, though. This particular one's case. Oh, that's the end of the level. Yeah, I, 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 I start to get the grasp of some of the stats of that, but nah, I don't think I don't think I could watch baseball for very long. I don't think that. I mean, we have white like, cricket, so you know we don't really need to watch baseball. But they're trying to get baseball popular over here. I mean, they had a game at the West Ham's football stadium this year, so they're really trying to get uh, British people to watch American sports, aren't they? That's because the. Hey, I can't hit him. There we go. Yeah, it's it is it gets ridiculous. I mean, it's very Americanized. Like they'll obsess over a player's stats, and you'll see like, oh, this player had to get the ball X percent of the time. Also, this is not a new kid.
This is not a pain sector, certainly. Huh. I don't mind that though, to be honest. fucking secret. Great! A secret! Yay! I don't really care about secrets. I kind of want to... Uh, and now I can't tell if I've gone the right way or the wrong way, or a way. Well, now I know I fucked up with something, so now the blue key on me. Pretty sure I need to have one of those. Fucking Erlock system. What is. Oh, God, the exit's there. So I took a. Well, she took a wrong turning. I was supposed to go in here, wasn't I? I think? Yeah. Yeah, it's good if you're like... So I basically waited another minute. Yeah, I'm not being mutt on time, but you know, I don't really care. As long as I just survive, I'm happy enough. I can't do the glide trick, so... For me, speedrun options are off the table. Alas. Why am I even going out here? I'm trying to remember why. I, why am I going out here? Why am I? Why am I still out here? Why, what? What am, what am I doing? Don't mind me. So as you can see, our auto levels are quite short in this. So...
what the? Ugh. Yeah. I was so fast I managed to actually get that. Go figure. Oh god, do I have to go back? Wait, how do I... Oh, there we go. go back through this again. Well, easy enough, I suppose. Yeah, I saw you there. And you. And you. Yes, all of you. So, has that usually been a good matchup in years in the past between the Rams and the Saints? I mean, I think it's at the Rams um, ground as well. So, I'm really hoping it will be a good match. No, the Los Angeles Rams. to go this way but... Saints are not very good neither of the rounds okay I just for what I remember the little knowledge that the, the Saints are like this dark horse team that can do well but they fall a bit short sort of thing And the Rams have the same owner as Arsenal, Stan Kroenke, who's a bit of a twat. On my way. <laughs> the random access memories, yeah. Mother the Lost. Chef. I fucked myself over by going this way. <laughs> NFL teams can change very quickly in quality. Oh. I see. This is Doom 2, this is Quake 1, this is Quake 2. I've, I've, I've not played 3 Doom, so I don't really know about that. P. 
mean that they consistently cheat. Oh, that was the end of the level. <laughs> I missed 70% of the level. Kills. You know what? Whatever. Great. I finally get a quick exit. I will not complain about that since I've been going around like an idiot in at least two levels so far. I'll take a nice fast exit, please. A fast exit for 10, Marty. Yeah, all I know is no one likes the Patriots. <laughs> right, there was that, uh, what do they call it, the Flake Gate that happened a couple years ago. And then they have that, um, they bought that really weird player who's a, a massive ego sort of thing. Um, Antonio Brown, he was called. The only reason I know about half of this stuff is because I watched this channel called You Name Tree. Who's like a, um, he's a he's a Steelers fan, and he did a lot of cool stuff, and he does a lot. That's how I've got into it really, is because of watching his channel. Test. Oh no, the teleport works. Oh my God. Well done. You discovered what teleporting is. Good for you. And here's an exit. Hey, see you, Scott. How you doing? By the way. Is that not the exit? Oh, I'll be the exit, won't it? Just gotta step on here. Whoop! Another fast level. Damn. Uh, I would probably say of the ones you mentioned, Cloverfield, if I had to pick one in terms of quality levels. Same text. I would probably go for um, Ultimate Doom, honestly. If I had to pick between them. So yeah, I got a lot of my interest in the uh, NFL and stuff thanks to you and Aking Trees videos, which were great to watch. Lost souls! No! Be gone! Don't fought. Oh god. Look at this little mini Plutonia type area. God, how many chain gunners are there? Uh, 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 go away! Now we can focus on the chain gunners. Yeesh. Finally. Oh, man. After murdering nearly every chain gun on the planet, I. Finally. Oh, wait, what was the point of being here? Oh, the insulting game here. Maybe. Then we have to here, to here, and finally to the skull that I need. Oh, 
great. Well, that, that, that really, um... Well, that is really the worst combination for me to have right now. I think of an invisibility orb and a cyber demon appears. And now I have to dodge him in a really weird way. I mean, fucking hell. You know what, I'm just gonna wait for the fucking invisibility to wear off. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really want to test the reflexes. I just want to get to the next level. Right, now we can just play normal, don't we? Yeah, I got fucked you. <sighs> hey, Nine Hills, how's it going? Hello, Pineapple. Might as well collect that while I'm here. Who else appreciates birds? Sake, it's one of these. All four pillars has an opening on it. Thing. No one. And he's done. From. Fucking hell, I didn't notice him or the other guy. I would have swapped my weapons if I'd known there was another one coming behind me. That was not a beautiful trap. I just didn't account for the correct number of Hell Knights or something. They must have blanked or I. Wow, well, that was really poor. Fuck me. That was terrible. I should not be dying to that. It's not really much of a trap. So yeah, I guess that's the end of that run. I guess I used up all my lucky points in the, uh, the Iron Eagle. I'm allergic to pineapples. Well, that was very disappointing. Hello, the wellness. You have joined in time for the end. I died. I was not. I was. I was not expecting to die on map twelve. So I guess TVR is not as easy as I remember it. Then I did say it had its hard points, but. Again, if I had known there was going to be a flank there, I probably would have just waited, but that's the, maybe that's the way this wad catches you out, I guess. You think it's easy, then they'll just something will just click and it'll, suddenly you'll be screwed over, so... F fuck. Really pissed off a bit there. At that. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, That wasn't even a trap. There was just... 
Hell Knight's wandering and it just happened to wander in a really awkward spot. Play Rise of the Triad 1. I do not have Rise of the Triad, uh, unfortunately. <sighs> well, um. Uh, well, I still have play lost a bit of weight while playing that. Well, thank you, Dave. For at least there's that. For all the talking I was doing, maybe I lost a little there. Ugh, God. But yeah, um, I would recommend if you're not if you've not played TVR before, I would recommend playing it. It's as I said, it's without it being an Iron Man, it is a, a fun wad. Uh, you could probably you could probably beat it in like four or five hours, maybe less. It's nice and fast paced. It's if you got a couple of good hours to spare, then give it a shot. It's a pretty well, it's a pretty decent wad overall. There's a lot of nice variety in the things. So, but if you're gonna do this for Iron Man, I probably would recommend not doing it blind entirely, because. I think it's the fact that the wad is so easy that when you, you can get caught out because you get very lax and then suddenly bam. That's what happened with me there. I mean, I'm breezing through, I'm playing really, really fast and then suddenly a really unfortunate set of circumstances occurs and that's it. Yeah, I think that's the thing. It's deceptively easy. In that you'll breeze through most of it, then it just takes one moment, and bam, you're dead. That that's kind of how this thing will, what will catch you out. But um, yeah, so I'm re really disappointed this had to end so early. Um, I don't have any plans for it. What would happen if it did end early? Unfortunately, so yeah, I guess there's instant death traps or little things. But it, it is a fun one, and I would recommend it to people. The next Thief stream, uh, that'll be tomorrow, Dave. So from now on, it's going to be nothing but Thief 2 for a bit until the game is finished. Um, I, really, I want to do, I want to do like a filler stream, but I, I don't really have anything to filler play, I don't think. Too much, so... No, I think I'll just call it here. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be Thief 2, nothing but Thief 2 until it's finished now, and that'll be tomorrow. Um, hmm. Now, there's one thing I could do, but I probably won't. Could I recommend playing Free Doom before you go? Um, I'm not taking requests at the moment, Culverfield. Um, as you can see in the, if you look below the video, you can see there's a request list. Um, I am focusing on my uh, request list at the moment in terms of Doom Wads. There will be, I, I'm not, I'm not taking any recommendations right now. Um, so I, I probably will play Free Doom at some point. I'm sure that's something else among the official stuff I need. I still need to play Doom 64. I still need to play PlayStation Doom. I still need to play the Master Levels. Definitely need to play Doom 64. And I guess Free Doom is something I have to check out as well at some point. So, uh, oh, God. I really wish I could do a filler stream or something to just sort of... You know, just for the sake of it, or whatever. Um, yeah, no, I don't think so. I could do RuneScape, but I don't think people... I don't think that. Portal's a nice game, only about three hours long. Yeah, I've already played Portal, though, is the thing. Um, now nah, I'll just call it for tonight. I can... I mean, I, I, I've got. Well, I'm going to be watching this NFL game in like two hours anyway, so it's it's fine. So thank you all for watching. Um, if you do want to take part in this, um, there's the link in the uh, description. There, I, I encourage you to take part. It's a fun little thing that happens every month, and it's it's worth playing. So I'll catch you all tomorrow for uh, more Thief Two. We're up to level eleven, and. You'll be seeing nothing but Thief 2 for the next uh, couple of streams. So, yeah. Sorry, now, so I died on map 12. It was embarrassing. Good night. <laughs>